Hi, everyone. This week, what we're going to do is show you how you can measure how much air is being lost from a bedroom to the outside when the bedroom door is closed and the room is overpressurized. So if we want to ensure comfort throughout the house, one thing that we want to check for is to make sure that bedrooms are balanced. We want as little pressure differential as possible uh, when bedroom doors are shut uh, between the bedroom and the main body of the house. So if we're going to run a tube under there with a manometer and read it, uh, we want that number to be as close to zero as it possibly can. If it's too positive, then we're pushing conditioned air to the outside. If it's too negative, say if we have a room return in there that's pulling more air, more than the supply is giving it, uh, then we can pull outside air in. So we really want to make sure those rooms are balanced out uh, to ensure that the system is working the way it should so that the occupants will be comfortable. So once we have that CFM that's being lost to the outside, we can apply that to the total CFM that's being delivered to the room. And the best way to measure that is with the ACE and Flow Finder. Uh, that way it's gonna get an accurate reading uh, when we take those readings there at the supply. The flow finder kind of works similar to a duct tester or a blower door. It has its own calibrated fan and high precision manometer built in and just zeroes out whatever pressure it feels and converts that to CFM. So now we can see what percent of that total CFM delivered to the room is being lost to the outside when the bedroom door is closed. Then we can prescribe a solution, such as a transfer grill, jumper duct, or a uh, individual return for that room. You'll do this with two blower doors. Uh, you can just use one normal blower door uh, that you would set up to do a normal blower door test on an exterior door. And then a second one that you will set up in the interior door of the bedroom that you're looking at. The cool thing about this is if you have a blower door and a duct tester, then you're most of the way there because the airflow that you're gonna need to measure the bedroom is gonna be really low. So a duct tester fan will do. So if you have a blower door and a duct tester, all you're really needing is just another blower door frame and a claw uh, to fit the duct tester fan to use as a Model 300. So if you're familiar with the duct leakage to the outside test or any kind of neutralization test, like a guarded blower door test that we use in multifamily, uh, that's kind of what we're doing here, except the difference is instead of testing to 50 pascals or to 25 pascals, we're bringing the whole house to a pressure that we're gonna measure from the bedroom to the main body of the house. So to measure that initial delta P or that pressure differential between the bedroom and the main body of the house, we'll just use any high resolution manometer such as the DM32X uh, to do that. So we'll just take a tube, run it under the door and see what that pressure difference is while the HVAC system is running. Once we have that pressure, now we can turn the HVAC system off and anything else that's gonna manipulate pressure across the building, such as exhaust fans, dryers, uh, combustion appliances, things such as that. Uh, my system has a whole house ventilation on it uh, that runs automatically by a Haven indoor air quality monitor and controller. So just to make sure that it's not gonna kick on during the test, I'm just gonna flip the breaker off at the air handler uh, just to make sure that nothing is gonna kick on while I'm running this blower door test. So usually we're gonna deal with lower pressures than what we're usually testing with for a blower door test. Uh, so for example, here we can see that uh, there's about a six or so Pascal pressure difference uh, between the bedroom and the main body of the house. Uh, so that means we're gonna bring the whole house up to that pressure. And with the second blower door installed in the interior doorway, we're going to bring that one to zero to neutralize it. That way, the only leakage that we're reading on that room blower door uh, is leakage to the outside. Now, one critical thing to keep in mind here is wind. Even on a regular blower door test, wind can kind of be a little screwy sometimes when we're trying to get a good accurate reading. Since we're dealing with lower pressure targets here, instead of like 50 pascals, sometimes we may deal with you know, six like we're dealing with here, uh, a gust of wind can really knock things around pretty easily. So in this case, it's good to maybe use a longer time average uh, and let the blower doors run for a little while uh, to really see what that number is gonna be once they kind of sync up and balance out. If it's a really blustery day, it just may not be a good day to do this test, but if it's relatively calm and you can keep things under control, uh, then you should be good to go. So you'll get the exterior blower door started up first uh, to that initial target pressure that you measured uh, at the very beginning. Then you will uh, get the second blower door up to zero. Uh, 
Again, we're dealing with very small pressure differentials here, so uh, you might be using a smaller range than normal, like we're using here. And to really dial it in and tune it to where it's gonna really stay at zero, I find that it's easier to use the slider speed control on the DM32X or the jogger. Both of those work really well. If you do set speed instead of set pressure, uh, that way you can kind of fine tune it. However, you can also use the manual dial if you unplug the speed control cable out of either the gauge or the fan, you can use that dial on the fan to uh, dial it in right there to zero two. I did have some wind uh, when I ran this test, uh, so I kind of kept checking that main lower door on the exterior doorway uh, for it to stabilize, uh, to hover right at that pressure target that I wanted, and then would come back to the other one to make sure we were still at zero. And uh, I would kind of keep an, an eye on those. Once both were hitting their targets at the same time, uh, I would make sure that I was getting that same reading on my room blower door because that's the CFM I want to pay attention to. Once I was confident in that reading and I was getting that over and over, uh, then that's the one that I would keep. But again, on a non-windy day, a calm day, uh, you can do this a lot faster. Another cool thing about this test is, especially if you're using a smart clock with your uh, interior blower door and the duct tester, you can just pop it out, move to the next room very quickly, adjust your main blower door to the pressure target. So uh, I can actually do this test faster uh, than I can do a duct leakage to outside test, um, just because I can pop that frame out, pop it into the next doorway and keep going. Usually all your interior doorways are gonna be the same, so you can just pop it out, roll to the next one. So that's just a nice way to apply some real numbers uh, to how much air is being lost due to unbalanced bedrooms. Hopefully that's a test you can add to your arsenal and provide some helpful feedback to your customers. Thank you all for watching and uh, catch us back here again as we cover a new topic.